7 ways to make the narcissist suffer indefinitely. Narcissists want you to think that they are omnipotent, that they have unlimited power and they're able to do anything. But this is nothing more than a deceptive outward appearance, because they're actually very weak and fragile. And there are certain things that you can do to make them go crazy. But before I get into the seven ways to make the narcissist suffer indefinitely, I must say that this is for educational purposes. I am against causing suffering to any living things. If you choose to carry out any of these activities, it is your own decision and you are responsible for the results. But if this is what you decide to do, I will advise you to be very cautious because this will cause the narcissist a lot of pain and distress. So with that being said, here are seven ways to make the narcissist suffer indefinitely. One, don't react. The narcissist will perform their narrative. They will behave badly and they will act out certain events because they're trying to bait you into another conflict or disagreement. They're trying to get you to react to something that they have said or done. Because they have an arrested development, they're a child stuck in an adult's body, which is why they're so forceful, antagonistic and irrational. It's why they're so illogical and unreasonable. And it's why they reject this false reality. But you should never take them seriously. You should never think about anything they say in a careful or sensible way because they're not practical or functional. So it's not going to be of any benefit to you. It's only going to set you back. Almost everything they say is false. They're pathological liars. They lie frequently, and they feel a compulsion to lie, even if it puts them in danger or hurts them. They lie to get their way and they do it with little awareness. So they will throw a tantrum, which may resemble the uncontrolled outburst of a two-year-old child. And when they do that, you should not react. Instead, you should ignore them or leave the room because that will bruise their ego. They make up lies and stories because they want your reaction. They want to be seen as important. And when they do this is because they can't find any other way to get your attention. It's because they believe that behaving normally wouldn't be enough. So they do more than necessary, they go above and beyond. They turn molehills into mountains, anything just to get you to notice them. And to pull you into another one of their games. But when they do that, it's actually when they are most vulnerable. Because they're expressing something, they're putting something out. Which means that you have the opportunity to shut them down by ignoring them, by treating them as unimportant because it tells them that you're not going to tolerate their nonsense anymore. Two, challenge their false self. The narcissist uses a false self to manipulate people. They act like a Samaritan as though they're trying to help you when in fact they already know that's not true. They know they're manipulative and abusive. They know they're no good. So if you test their character and you hold them up to what they're portraying themselves to be, or you devalue and mock their stories of fantasy and delusion, 
of how powerful, sexy, intelligent, wealthy, or whatever else they're meant to be. If you pierce through this illusion that they're displaying to you, it will ruin your suspended belief. It will reduce their significance to you, and you will immediately become indifferent. You will be detached because you've figured out the framework of their false self which will make them very angry because it will cause a narcissistic injury but you do need to be very cautious because they will come after you and they will try to punish you but if you really want to make them suffer this is all that you have to do challenge and mock their false self in the way that they would normally do to you but with them it will produce a very different response because with you your character is real so while you may self-loathe or feel bad about yourself they're going to be really mad because secretly they already know they're fake so they will experience distress and then they may lash out at you Three, deflect their manipulation. The narcissist will try to mess with your mind to cause you to feel confused, frustrated or anxious so that you will be unable to deal with things or behave normally. And then they can gaslight you and call you crazy. But if you want to make them suffer when they try to do this to you you just need to deflect it back to them, which is something that we might not normally do or even think about, because as empaths we tend to self-loathe and blame ourselves. But this is a very powerful way to hold on to the truth, by noticing the separation between you and them, by identifying that they have their own separate opinions which belong to them, so that you don't take on their toxic ideology which will bruise their ego because they don't really stand for or believe in anything that they say it's just whatever will keep their head above water whatever will help them to survive emotionally because they're experiencing a lot of dysregulation especially when they're around someone who is strong and stands in their own truth it's very intimidating and threatening for a narcissist because they're very insecure, they don't really have any opinions or beliefs of their own. It's just whatever they think will help them to get by in that moment. They're chameleons or shapeshifters. They're contradictory. Which is why a lot of the things they do or say won't seem to make any sense. And it's why they actually despise the truth. Because the truth is against them. Regality is against them. Which is why they have to create a world of their own. But their world is very unstable because it's based on falsehoods. So they need you to believe what they want you to believe. And then they can feel like they're in control. They can feel special and important. Because despite how they may have manipulated and gaslighted you. And knowingly to you they actually think very highly of you. Even though they may not say pleasant things about you. And that is why it's so important for them to do this to you. Because it makes them feel special and important when they would otherwise have the opposite feelings when they are around you. But because of their insecurity, it's only ever going to be this way. They're never going to be able to accept the truth and the reality of the situation. Which is why you need to put distance between you and them. Four, be happy. Get over your relationship with them. Let it go, heal the emotional wounds, and then begin to live a better life. Focus on experiencing more happiness and joy. Do the things that you want to do. It will drive them insane. 
because you're reducing their significance and their ability to disturb you, which means that you're challenging their all-powerful false self. Because you're free, you're happy without them. You're living your life in the way that you want to live, which is their worst nightmare because it reduces their supply and it destroys their self-image, which is based on their ability to manipulate and control you. Five, be organized. The narcissist is experiencing an overwhelming sense of dissatisfaction and unhappiness with themselves, which is why they desire an external lack of order and structure, because they have a mental disorder which thrives in dysfunctional environments. So it's the only way that they can feel comfortable and sane, which is why they will deliberately cause drama and chaos and they will try to shake things up so that the external reality reflects how they are feeling internally. So to make the narcissist suffer, you need to be more organized. You need to get your life in order by studying or starting a new job or just by organizing things around the house because they hate stability. They need you to settle for and recreate the internal chaos that they want to produce in their environments. But if you become more organized, it will threaten their false self and it will cause a narcissistic injury. Because you have recognized your power and you have realized that they can't control you or your life. Six, use their false image against them. The narcissist creates a false image which they push out to the world so that they can become significant and then they can gain narcissistic supply and avoid a narcissistic injury which is defensive behavior where they're very anxious to challenge and avoid criticism because they're trying to defend and protect their false image to prevent them from experiencing a narcissistic injury. They generate a false self to get reactions from people and they put on a big performance. But this actually means that they're very vulnerable. And yet they will put out this inflated image of them being all powerful, of them being sexy, powerful, intelligent or wealthy, or they're self-sacrificing, or the biggest victim in the world, they're always the biggest and the best at something. But when you look at it, it's actually all a facade and they're very fragile. Whatever their feelings are about any subject are actually the opposite. So while they may present themselves as being loving and caring, if you have lived with them, you will know that the opposite is true. Despite how much they say that they care about certain things. But they have to maintain this false image so that they can get their supply which means that you can often use their own image against them, especially if they're around their enablers or flying monkeys, the people who believe in and validate this false image. By getting them to agree to things that their false image is meant to agree with, because they are bound by the maintenance of this false image and of them being a certain way, so they have to uphold what they are representing themselves to be. Seven, sever ties. There's nothing a narcissist hates more than no contact when you end your connection with them and completely cut them off because they have no identity. They have nothing to keep them grounded and sane. They need you to prop up their false self so that they can manage and suppress their internal chaos and project their own misery and self-hatred onto you. So when you sever ties and go no contact, it drives them insane. It makes them lose their minds because they just can't be alone by themselves. They need someone to validate their existence. Otherwise, they feel like they're dying inside because they have nothing of their own. They're just a shell of a human being. They have no energy or life force. They're weak, so it all comes from you. 
you manage and prop up their false identity. You're holding them together, which is why when you break away from them it causes a narcissistic injury and their false reality comes crumbling down. These are all very real ways to make the narcissist suffer indefinitely, but be aware that when a narcissist's false self is threatened, they can become very unpredictable, and there's often no telling how they might react. The abuse may escalate, and they may do things that they have never done before. In that moment, they will do anything to sustain the existence of their false self because they have nothing outside of that. They're broken, underdeveloped people with no separate existence of their own. So please do keep this in mind if you do choose to engage in these behaviors. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash dark survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's Narc Survivor the Code UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.